Good morning everybody and welcome to the video. My name is Samil Shah. In this video, I would like to show you a small demo of failover a model. So essentially when uh, there are mission critical applications and microservices and when the companies are making millions and billions of dollars, right? You cannot afford to have a delay or a downtime just because the region or the something happened in that particular region, right? In those scenarios, you want to have your microservices highly available, which means uh, the microservices are there in US East 1, US East 2, US West 1, and in which case, uh, whenever a failover occurs in particular region, you automatically want to switch all your traffic to a new region or a different region so that there is no downtime. Think about it like payment services to the people like who are accepting payments, right? Can they have a downtime? No, if they have a downtime, they're going to lose customers, right? Essentially, or I would say they will lose the revenue there, right? So it's very important for these microservices to be highly available, right? Uh, so I would like to show you a small demo, which I've been trying from a couple of weeks. So uh, as you can see my screen, hopefully, um, what I did is essentially, as you can see on my API gateway, um, consider this as a very mission critical application, right? Uh, I have this deployed in North Virginia, that is US East 1. I have the same microservice deployed in US, uh, US, I guess, East uh, 2, that is Ohio. Um, now, my primary region, that is my, all the traffic is served by US East 1. That's how I have defined it, right? So now what I did is essentially, I, I made a Route 53. So I'll show you in a second. I made a Route 53 and then I had a health check here. So I put both the health checks, as you can see on my screen. Um, and I purposely, uh, um, you know, made sure that these uh, US East 1, that's my primary region, that's unhealthy. So what I did essentially, I went here and I changed the status codes to 400, which means my health check is gonna fail, which means the re something happened there in that region and I wanna route all my traffic from US East 1 to US East 2, right? That's the scenario. And I wanted to try this out, as you can see, uh, it's unhealthy right now. So before, uh, as you can see, uh, before recording, you know, I, I it was working fine and then I, I made a request and it went to the US East 1 server. So that's great. But after that, when I started doing it unhealthy, right now, if I go back to the same server, so if I come here, and I come here, now it's routing to US to West, uh, US East too, sorry. So it's very, um, you know, important for us to understand and, and learn about these, right? Because we want to have the application and microservices highly available, right? So as you can see, um, so uh, if you can go to the hosted zone, I did register a domain name called soundwheelchart.com. Uh, so what, what I did essentially, uh, it's fairly easy uh, to do this. So I'll show you how easily you could, um, you know, add these rules so I'll, I'll, I'll delete this uh, delete record I put this here all right so what I want to do is I want to create a routing of failover so I'll click on next that's the model that I want to adopt I'll to choose a TTL of 60 seconds that will define a record and now here I'll select essentially API gateway I'll select my region that is my US East, US East one that's where my microservices is deployed and then essentially I'm going to make sure that this is my primary right I'm selecting the health check and say Okay, so we define the record. Now we define the secondary failover record. So in this case, I'm gonna again select API gateway. I'm gonna select my microservices, which is there in US East 2. Uh, this is pointing to this one. It's gonna be a secondary, and that's the health check. There you go. So now, as you can see, I have I have added all these rules. Now, as you can see. Uh, anytime a failover occurs, which means I have added those health checks here in my health checks. So anytime a particular health check fail, it's automatically going to route my traffic to the secondary region, which is absolutely insane. So uh, as you can see here now, if you want, you can turn this back to 200, right? We'll deploy this. I think this is not Virginia. Yeah. And remember, this might take a couple of seconds because the health check, uh, there's a, there's a, uh, there's a duration uh, on which the health check goes, right? So after a particular time when it determines that this, this region is healthy, now all the traffic would be routed back to US East 1, which is what uh, should happen in theory, right? So we put this back one here. I'll... And as I said, I was manually simulating uh, a scenario where uh, something failed in that region and I wanted to switch over to a new region, right? So uh, really amazing, right? Um, the way things works uh, and you know, AWS makes things very, very easy, right? So currently it's unhealthy, but uh, in a couple of minutes, this would be back healthy since I have just changed that, right? So it should be back healthy and all my traffic should be now switching back to US East 1. As you can see, right, 
applications that are generating a lot of revenue and which uh, cannot afford to have any downtime. In this scenario, you want to have your model in a way that's highly available across multiple region. You want to make sure that it can scale properly. Uh, you want to reserve a good amount of uh, reserved concurrency if you're using Lambda as an API gateway. Add provisional concurrency if you want to keep your Lambda in a hot state, which means during sale, you know, when you announce sale on your website, a lot of people would be coming and you'll be hitting that particular microservices. So all that stuff, right? So hope you have really enjoyed these videos. I'll try to do a deep dive where I cover all these things in detail, right? And I'll also leave all the um, articles and links in the description section below. So by the way, I also watch a lot of tutorials on AWS, you know, uh, uh, you know, for learning stuff. And one of the videos that I have strongly recommend, uh, this is, a, there's a guy called, uh, I'll show you, uh, I think they have done a wonderful one. So as you can see, Auth0, Netflix, they all have implemented this architecture, okay? This guy, uh, Nordiac API, amazing. I mean, he shows everything, um, you know. I, so essentially, I paused the video. As soon as my... So I, as you can see, I paused the video. I was learning. I was making notes. He showed uh, everything. He also has an article on Medium, which you can follow, right? Uh, so yeah, the, uh, pretty nice video. So if you get a chance, uh, so, you know, do watch this, right? So it's uh, pretty cool. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'll leave all the resources, links in the description section below. So kindly check that out, kindly read more and we'll keep learning, keep exploring and I'll see you guys next time.